To execute a mutation or a query, click on the Queries link in the left-hand menu to open the graphical editor. To view available queries, mutations, and subscriptions, we can click on the Docs link on the right side of the page. To view available mutations, click on Mutation. Here, we see three available mutations, Create To Do, Update To Do, and Delete To Do. The first mutation we'd like to create is Create To Do, so I'll go ahead and define a new mutation called Create that will execute Create To Do. Create To Do takes an input of type Create To Do Input. Create To Do Input accepts a title and a completed value. From this mutation, we'll return an ID, a title, and a completed value. To execute the mutation, click on the orange play button. Now that we've successfully executed a mutation, let's open up our data source to view the data in our table. In the table view, we should be able to click on the Items tab to view the data in our table. Next, let's go ahead and copy the ID of the to-do to our clipboard. The next mutation we'd like to execute is an update. We'll create a mutation called Update and execute the Update to-do mutation. For the input ID, we'll paste in the ID that we copied onto our clipboard from the database. The update to do mutation will change the completed value from false to true. In our data source, we should now see the completed value change from false to true when we refresh. Finally, let's go ahead and create a delete mutation. This mutation will execute the delete to do mutation, taking an input with an ID field being the ID that we copied earlier to our clipboard. Once we execute this mutation, we should be able to go back to our data source, refresh, and see that the item has been deleted.